Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another late night pouring. Um, tonight's going to be really fun. I've got some awesome colors that I was playing with, and I was playing with deepening up their shade, which is basically adding black to them and coming up with another color, which is kind of fun. So tonight we are going to be working on this 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas, which I have painted my sides and edges and I have taped and pinned the back. So that's ready to go. And let me show you the colors real quick. So the first one that I'm using here, this started out life as Golden's Prussian Blue. And then I added a little bit of Amsterdam Black to it and made this beautiful deep indigo sort of just gorgeousness. I used this in one of the last paintings and it was just around the corners and edges and it was so pretty and I'm st it's still in my head. So I had to make more. So this is my Prussian Blue deepened to uh, a blue black. So that one's really beautiful. I'm happy about that one. This next one started out as Atelier Forest Green. This is a beautiful color, but when I mixed it up, it wasn't really that color. So I added a little bit of black to this one as well. And now we have this very cool color, which I'm hoping will dry more like that than anything else, maybe a little deeper. So this is the Forest Green from Atelier, plus a little bit of Amsterdam Black. And then we have some Amsterdam greenish blue, which I haven't played with in a long time for some reason. Very, very pretty color, one of my favorites. Okay, my pouring medium tonight is my gel gloss pouring medium, so it's um, Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and American Floetrol, and sometimes a little bit of water. This one is, where is it? Bevio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Green Blue, which I love this. It's just so pretty, and it does such amazing stuff when it's dry. Just this very cool iridescent shift on there, which is awesome, and I really like it with the blues, so I think that's going to be awesome. And then I also have my usual suspects, my DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold, my lovely little workhorse, Showgirl, and then I also have some Amsterdam Titanium White, which in the last few videos I've been layering my cups, going heavier on the colors, and then just very small layers of white and gold in between to act as contrast between the darker colors, and it's been working out really, really well, so I'm excited about that. Okay, tonight we are going to be doing a Wanderlust pour. The Wanderlust pour is a wandering straight pour going in one direction, and then another one going in the opposite direction, so that you end up with the fingerlings in the middle of the canvas, so that becomes the composition with the softer ombre cells surrounding it. Um, I might try a variation on that tonight. I'm not sure if I want to or not. I will decide sooner than later. <laughs> Or just decide before you actually do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll see. I just okay. wing it. Yeah, you just wing it, right? We've, it hasn't hurt us in the past. Okay. So for that size, we need 27 ounces of paint. I think I'm going to use these 9-ounce cups and uh, just layer two of them. That'll give us about 18 ounces. And then I do have uh, Amsterdam Blank Black as my flow extender. So we're going to end up with some, hopefully even some negative space. I would love to have negative space with that uh, indigo color. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with some of that. Because this is going to be the very end of the pour. So we want to have a little bit of that darkness in there. And now layering this, instead of just using the white and gold, I'm also going to use these two lighter colors as well. So we're going to put the iridescent green blue, beautiful contrast there. Um, I think I want to put a little bit of white now, just a small layer, a barrier layer as it were, and some gold, just a little bit. Now we're going to use that beautiful forest green. layer of that. I'm glad I have the gold on the other side of that. I'm going to come in with the greenish blue now. I'm not sure how I feel about those two next to each other, but I guess we'll find out. We're going to go back to the white. the 
indigo color. Thicker layer again. And I'm gonna do the greenish blue. I really like those two next to each other. Put a layer of gold in but I'm not going to put a thick layer of gold and I'm actually going to spread that out with my spatula because I don't want to have a big thick line there between the two Yes, my love. Semper Perez. Here we go. So we're going to stay close to the canvas. I'm going to pour this nice and slow. This is a wandering straight pour. center there. Okay. And see I'm happy that I use that deeper indigo color at the beginning and at the end because it's giving us that as possible negative space which I'm very happy about. All right. I think I'm gonna, I like kind of that this one's not as stretched out that it's shorter and kind of squat so I'm gonna kind of try to do this one maybe kind of curving around it a little bit more. We're gonna start like over here. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lass, that I am. Here we go. See, that's giving us the negative space part. And then we start to push it through. Okay, awesome. Um, where's my little... 
my paintbrush. I'm just going to put a little bit of a curve in here through that gold line in a few places. So this is looking pretty good. Um, I'm actually happy that it's taking up less surface area, that it's not so stretched, because now I can move this one body of paint around a lot easier. So I think this is gonna be really pretty. Let's tilt this out. Let's see, where's the weight of the paint? Okay. I kinda walk this down.
So I shouldn't stress about this or that other negative space part. I should just leave it alone. Oh, no way. It's awesome. Okay. Right. Cool. I do like this a lot. I love how it's stretched out in those areas. You can hear this is so pretty. Gorgeous. I love that gradient. And I really like this one, too. So pretty. And I love how these are all stretched out. That's so pretty. Especially against that deeper indigo. This part's really cool too. All right, we're cool. Torch it again. Pretty cool. I'm not sure about this right here. That's the only part that I'm not crazy about, but I like all the rest of it, so it's gonna stay. Okay. Once again, as you're putting those colors into the cup, I'm thinking, oh, uh oh, did she screw up maybe? <laughs> it came out lost. Awesome. because this top edge was dripping and I don't want it to. Okay. Here we go. I think that's pretty cool. All right, I'm very happy with this one. Um, I will show you hopefully at the end of this video. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> but I really like what's happening in here. I love all of this beautiful light blue. That's gotta be the iridescent green blue next to the white and the gold. And I do see a lot of shimmer in here, so there's a lot of gold too. I really like all of this. That's yeah, cool. So, kind of galactic and seaweedish at the same time. Not completely crazy about this, but I like it more than enough, so that's fine. All right, this is neat. I'll show you once try. Thanks for being here with us. Please make sure you check out our website at Fluid Art Boutique. We will be teaching classes in Dublin in June of 2024. I'm teaching my Wanderlust technique, which you've just seen here, and I'm also teaching a wandering ring pour with negative space, which is a really, really fun, beautiful technique. Um, check out our website at fluidartboutique.com. You can get a lot of information about hotels and everybody's different classes. We have some amazing teachers this time. Fiona is gonna be with us. Uh, Erica Hughes from Erica Hughes Art. Fosia Creations, Nate Bright Art, and of course Sarah Mack and Karen Dershon and myself. So going to be a really, really fun three or four days teaching at Fitzpatrick Castle and Hotel in Dublin. We do have another couple of hotels listed on our website, so I would recommend that you make your reservations now. <laughs> Thanks for being here. We'll be right back. Okay, so these are the dried results of our Ovatrol test, mixing the Ovatrol with the Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss. Came out really, really pretty. I don't see any major differences. I still see beautiful color. I still see gorgeous details. It spread and moved the way that I liked. The only thing that I see, or maybe 
I don't know if you guys can see them. Little tiny, tiny like air bubbles in there. So maybe if I let it sit for a day before we mix it up. But ultimately, I don't see any big problems. Um, I had poured over a canvas on this one, and I can kind of see the ring pour that was underneath under this, but that's not the Ovatrol's fault. So I did actually pour another one. Let me get it for you real quick. Hang on. But this one came out very pretty. That bronze is gorgeous with the gold, or sorry, the copper. The sergeant's copper and the pearl in the center there. The color combination is awesome. I love the Prussian blue with the Van Dyke brown. It's gorgeous. And that copper and the gold. Let me get the other one to show you. Hang on. So this is a little 14 by 14 and this was a fresh canvas because I wanted to see if we would get those little speckly bumps which we kind of did a little bit but it's not bad and I think this one turned out really really pretty more of the pearl in this one and that beautiful copper and gold is really gorgeous I love 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 this top edge over here with some of that Prussian blue is really cute so I really like this color palette a lot so thank you guys so much for being here with us today I hope you enjoyed this one we'll see you real soon bye bye